get an aerial view tonight of what's left after a massive landslide crushed a house in Pittsburgh's West End. It shut down a major route into the city where a house once stood now just a huge pile of dirt and debris. John Shumway spoke with the homeowner about what they're going to do next. John. Yeah, but first, let's give you a real quick walk around about where we are tonight, especially for drivers. This is the route from Main Street in the West End. As you can see, clearly debris there now, and that is the ramp that comes off of the West End bypass. It was a little bit blocked yesterday. Now it's completely blocked because they've been bringing part of this slide down here to Route 60 and 51 in order to get it out of here easier. At the same time, as you can see, they're digging up above. The round-the-clock process to remove the slide continues unabated. The water coming off the hillside has been handled. The dirt is drying out. Progress is good. But the road reopening prognosis? In the next week, uh, still, still looking, just getting the road open next week. As drivers' lives are inconvenienced for a few days, Beth and Charles Butler's were torn apart by the cascading mud. I, I feel like I'm numb. Beth says on Thursday she noticed strange mud running down the street and called 311. Friday evening there was activity on the street. They heard a loud crack and then emergency responders were at their door. You need to leave. The mud is up against the back of your house. The butlers grabbed medicines and necessities for a night and were allowed back in for a few more things on Saturday afternoon pictures and some clothing that now cram Beth's car. She couldn't believe what she saw while collecting these. The bathroom, the tub was up against the entry door to the bathroom. You could see through the outside. Um, the closet door, closet in the bedroom, you could see the retaining wall and brick and debris coming in through the closet. The next day she watched as their home was crushed. Well, it's hard. We were there for 35 years. My boys grew up there. I was hoping grandkids would be able to come and spend time with us there. Today, crews were clearing away the remains of the home, which is part of the massive pile that covers Greenleaf Street. Meanwhile, the butlers are staying in a local hotel. Her UPMC colleagues, friends, and family are offering up ways to help. How can you say thank you? But for now, despite her meticulous notes and to-do list, the path to the future is unclear. I just don't know what's my next step. Beth's family and friends, actually primarily her UPMC colleagues, have put together a GoFundMe page to help out the Butler family get reestablished. Now, coming up new at 6 o'clock, I had a chance to talk to Beth about the possibilities of insurance and where help might come. You'll find out what her response was to that. And I have just learned that now we are talking about this road probably being closed until probably late next week. More on that at 6 as well. For now, live in the West End, John Shumway, KDK TV News.